today was deadline day for San Jose to clear out a sprawling homeless camp beneath the Mineta Airport flight path. Now we went by the Spring Street site today and as you can see it is completely empty. The FAA says it was just too dangerous for people to live there. And of the 250 people who did, the city says more than 170 have been placed into housing. KPX 5's Leonard Ramirez followed one formerly homeless woman as she transitioned into her new life. How many plates do you need, ma'am? Two? Two, okay. Okay, here's your water. Um, take as many sandwiches as you want. Spend a few minutes with Kelly Goodman, and it's clear she cares about the people she's serving. Hola, jefe, como estas? Bien, ya? Ya? Es buena comida hoy. And yes, I speak my bilingual. <laughs> she cares because it wasn't too long ago that she was one of the people being served. I was homeless for 19 years. Um, and it gets depressing. It's the worst thing anybody could ever imagine. I first met Kelly months ago when she was living out of her minivan. So there's not enough beds, not enough housing. Turns out that while we were talking that day, her own paperwork was moving through the county's office of supportive housing. Here we go. And you're about to see what happened next. Driving home. What's it like to be able to say that? <laughs> Brings tears to my eyes. Let's go home. Wanna go home? Let's go home. That's right. <laughs> After almost two decades on the streets, Kelly and her dog Poppies are going indoors. Come on, baby. They got a studio apartment in Willow Glen. We were not allowed to film inside the building, but Kelly sent along these photos of the spacious studio and private bath. But for someone like Kelly, the transition into safe and stable housing is not as easy as it looks. It was a shell shock at first. Um, I was absolutely unprepared for the total change in lifestyle. The quiet, it, um, you don't hear gunshots and you don't hear people fighting and you're not worried about if there's a fire next door, you're gonna lose everything or rats or, you know, I don't worry about that. I, it would, you know, it was, it took, it took me, you know, about a week to get, okay, this is, this is what normal people, this is how they live. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I'd almost forgotten. Kelly was identified and prioritized for housing assistance through a system called VI SPDAT. And it's a tool, it's an assessment tool that every community uses within um, this area to help triage the most urgent and vulnerable needs for participants. Abode, the nonprofit which is housing Kelly, says dozens of the most vulnerable people on the streets are being housed every month in Santa Clara County. Folks are continually being placed in housing, but oftentimes if we place one person in housing, another three are experiencing homelessness within the course of that same day. You want a bag? Want some food? Which is why Kelly returns to her old camp at least twice a week. She's found that helping her former neighbors is just the therapy she needed to help her adjust to her new life. I come out here to give them hope, to let them know that if I can do it, anybody can do it. Thank you, sweetheart, thank you. In San Jose, Len Ramitas, KPIX 5. Kelly's new apartment is a temporary placement and she does pay an adjusted rent. She and her service providers are working on a plan to move her into a permanent place. Well, not everyone was as lucky as Kelly. About 100 people from the Spring Street camps shifted over to nearby Columbus Park. And what was once an empty baseball field is now filled with RVs and cars, but they won't be able to stay there for very long. The city has given them until mid-November to go somewhere else.